Welcome to the Creative Hug Zoom. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create an engraved money effect in Affinity Photo. This effect can also be used on a variety of different images to create vintage looking engraved illustrations, like those created with pen and ink or woodcuts. Also, you can apply this effect to different text and textures. First, go to File Open and select the image of the woman you downloaded. We'll set up the initial part of the image before we create the engraved look we need. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and make a selection of the woman. Once you've done that, press Ctrl and J to place a duplicate of the selection onto a new layer. Then, press Ctrl and D to deselect. Turn the original image off. Next, go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select the black and white adjustment. Increase the red, yellow, and blue. I set the red to 153%, yellow to 131%, and blue to 133%. Decrease the cyan. I set the cyan to 55%. We'll now set up the engraved pattern that we need. Go to File New. Set the page width and page height to 2000 pixels. You can leave the DPI at 72 or 300. It doesn't matter which one you set it to unless you plan on printing it, then you will set it to 300. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer to add a new layer. Go to the Swatches panel and set the fill color to white if it's not already. Make sure the pixel layer we added is selected. Then go to the Edit menu. Select Fill with Primary Color to fill the layer with white. After that, go to the View menu and select Show Grid. Then go to View again. Click Grid and Access Manager. Make sure you have the mode set to Automatic. You can set the grid lines and subdivision lines to whatever color you want. Now grab the Pen tool from the Tools panel. Turn on Snapping in the toolbar. Click and add a point on the second line on the left side. Press and hold Shift, then place a point on every other line horizontally until you reach the right side. Once you've done that, press Ctrl and click off of the document. Go to the Swatches panel and get rid of the fill color. Next, click on the line we just added in the Layers panel. Then go to the Stroke panel and set the Stroke Width to 0.5 points. Next, grab the Node tool from the Tools panel. Select all the nodes between the node on the left and the node on the right. Then go to the context toolbar and go to convert. Select convert to smooth. Take the node tool and place it between the first two nodes. Drag this part of the line slightly up. Next, select the middle area between the next two nodes. Drag this part of the line slightly down. We're going to do this all the way across to create a wavy line. Grab the Move tool from the Tools panel. Turn off Snapping. Press and hold Ctrl and Shift. Then drag a copy of the line a little below the original. Press Ctrl and J multiple times until the duplicated lines reach the bottom of the document. Zoom out if you need to see the lines. After that, select all the lines and arrange them the way you see them on the screen. Go to the View menu and click on Show Grid to remove the grid. After doing that, select all the lines and press Ctrl and G to group them together. Label this group 0.5 in the Layers panel. Make sure the white filled pixel layer isn't inside the group. Remove it if it is. Select the group and press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Go to the Stroke panel and set the stroke width of the group to one point. Label the group 1. In the Layers panel, turn off the white filled pixel layer. Now select the two line groups. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to merge the visible layers together. Or go to the Layer menu and select Merge Visible. Turn the two group layers off. With the Merge layer still selected, go to the Layer menu and select New Pattern Layer from Selection. Now that we have our engraved pattern, we can now add it to our image. Copy the pattern layer and paste it to the other document with the image. Make sure the pattern layer is at the top of everything. 
Select the pattern layer. Lower the opacity of the layer to 50%. You may need to lower the opacity more than this depending on how your lines look. Also, you can change the blend mode of this layer too. Go to the Layers panel and select the Pattern layer, the Adjustment layer, and the layer with the woman. Press and hold Ctrl and then select the other layers to select them all at once. Press Ctrl, Shift, and E to merge these layers together. Now, go to the link of the $100 bill in the description of this video. Click Download. Another tab will open. Click Download File and then go to the file after it downloads. Right click on the file and click Extract All Extract. Then right click on the file and select open with Affinity Photo. Grab the in painting brush tool from the tools panel. Take the tool and go over the bottom part of the oval where part of the word Franklin is to remove it. In the layers panel, click the add pixel layer to add a new layer. Place the layer beneath the money layer. Go to the swatches panel and double click the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Enter the following hex code. D6D8C3. This color was sampled from the bill. Then select the pixel layer we added. Go to the edit menu and select fill with primary color to fill the layer with the color we added. Go back to the document with the woman and copy the merged layer of her with the engraved pattern. Copy it onto the money document. Place the layer between the money and the pixel layer we added earlier. Now go to the transform panel and turn on the lock aspect ratio. Take the Move tool and resize the woman into the oval of the bill. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Curves Adjustment. Click the point on the left and drag it to the right some right at the beginning of the graph. Now click and add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it slightly up and slightly to the left. After that, select the point on the right and drag it down some. Once you've done that, go to the Green channel. Click in the middle of the curve to add a point. Then drag the point up some. And this is how to create an engraved money photo effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.